Hello guys, this is the first video I do to World of Warships. It's a tutorial for everybody who just started World of Warships and probably doesn't even know how to do anything. So probably those guys who haven't played World of Tanks, stuff like that. I'll do this in two videos. One of them is for researching things and buying things, and the other thing is for just playing the game. So first of all, how do you even start? I mean, you buy a package or you get a key. Let's say you buy a package, so you probably got maybe this ship here, the Gramieszki. And now you know, well, everything looks like this. And what should I do now? So, first of all, here is your name and a rank. Probably now it's rank 7. Rank 7 is the maximum at the moment. So, rank 1, you are. You can just do co op battles. Co op battles are battles with, with other players against AI, which have got the exact same ships your team have got. You will also have two tier 1 ships which is the Airy for the USA and the Kachori for the Japanese fl fleet. So, you can drive with those or you can use the Gromieshki or the Simus or the Yubari, at least which package you bought. Even You can buy every three of them. So, and you're playing games and you have to do like three games and you will get level two. You'll get a few experience and a little bit of credits to that we come later. So, then you get rank 2. There you can do random battles. Random battles are players versus players, like 10 players versus 10 players. And you get a credit bonus. So, then you've got your ship back in the hangar after you've done this, and you've earned experience points. Experience and credits. So, actually, this is like the match just ended, so... Then you get this message, like this time we lose, and I use my tier 5 Congo class battleship. But what you can do with experience and with credits, I'm going to show you in a different video, which is now linked in this video, if it's already uploaded. If there isn't any link, it's not uploaded yet. But then it will be uploaded a few days ago. In, in a few days. So, um, yeah, because that is a bit more. Then you will notice that there are different signs over the ships. And you definitely want to know what are those signs. That's easy. Let's take the Wakatake, for example. It's a destroyer. Destroyer's got this little triangle thing. A destroyer is a small ship, very small. This is a, this is a cruiser that, that isn't very big, and this is a destroyer. So, destroyers are armed with, uh, well, pretty bad artillery guns. But this is not the main purpose why you use them. I mean, they are helpful, but they aren't great. So. What does destroyer? Uh, what can a destroyer do? Well, it's very, very good in staying covered, so not getting visualized by the enemy, because they are pretty small and they need a. You, you can just spot them from a very short range. So maneuverability is also great in the most destroyers. I think in every destroyer, they are all much over 40 knots and they are pretty fast. They and they are very good in turning speed, uh, in uh, turning circles. So and. The biggest weapon of a destroyer is torpedoes. If you come close to an enemy and you can drop torpedoes and hit it with that, that enemy is gone. Maybe not a battleship, but uh, even a battleship will take hard damage by a torpedo hit. Torpedo tubes are these things. You have got to rotate them like normal turrets. I'll tell that on, on a different video. Then, we've got cruisers. Cruisers is this, this kind of thing with one stripe through. Well, that's actually, actually a bad example. Let's take the Phoenix for a cruiser example. You see? It's bigger, it's a bit better armored than a destroyer, because the destroyer has got like none armor. It's obviously it's like double as heavy or even more. And uh, it's better armed. This thing has got in its best configuration ten uh, one hundred and fifty-two millimeter guns, while the destroyer had three. <laughs> uh good, this is one tier up, but this thing has got fourteen, <laughs> and that's the same tier. So, um what does a cruiser make special? Well it can fire pretty fast because it's yeah, it's a small caliber. It's small caliber guns. Uh, a cruiser is pretty fast. Not so fast that a destroyer, but it's fast. At least the most. It's like the typical cru cruiser I'm talking about. There are a few cruisers on the American side that's got torpedo launchers, and there are many cruisers on the side of the Japan's, of the Japanese fleet. They can uh, they can use torpedoes. So, but on the, on the American, you have to rely on your guns and your speed. Yeah, that's hitting the nail pretty much. So. Then there are battleships. 
battleships are these sign with two stripes through. For example, a Congo class battleship, and you see, oh my god, this thing is gigantic, and it is. But let's take the New York as an example, because it's a better example. The Congo is a pretty special one. The New York is the tier 5 battleship of the American fleet. So, uh, you see it's big, it's long, it's heavy, and it's got many big guns. A battleship gun is 203 millimeters and higher. No, higher than 203 millimeters, that's the right direction. So, this one's got like... 300 and a bit, I don't know it works, I don't know directly, 356 millimeters. So, they'll take ages to turn, they'll take ages to reload, but if they hit, they'll do such an amount of damage. Awesome, I love battleships. But they're also very slow, and they're getting spotted very easy. Well, I think the only one that isn't slow is the Congo. <laughs> it's like over 30 knots, and that's even faster than a few of the... Uh, of the cruisers and the other cruisers, it's a great one. If you want to play a very great battleship, play the Congo, it's awesome. So, and then there are aircraft carriers with this T symbol. They're often called the artillery of World of Warships, which, is, which isn't true actually. You aren't kind of shooting, sh uh, shooting something over the map where the enemy can't see you, because they can see you if they send your if they send spotting planes to you. Uh, they can use dive bombers, torpedo bombers, and attack aircrafts. With attack aircrafts you can scout, and you can shoot down other aircrafts. With torpedo bombers you can drop torpedoes on the near of your enemies. This one, you can choose one on the map, and you've got kind of a top-down view, like on Company of Heroes or stuff like that. And dive bombers are hitting the target directly. But I don't want to explain this everything because I'm a pretty noob on those things, and they will take just ages to show you everything. So those are the four classes at the moment. If you want to buy a new ship and you've got researched it, the, the link is in the video description for the research video and it was a bit early on. Those are the ships in the game. Aircraft carriers, battleships, cruisers, destroyers and premium ships. Same for the Americans and there are just a few premium ships available. What does a premium ship do? A premium ship earns more experience, uh, no, earns the same experience and more credits. What can I do with the experience that I've got on the Gramieshki, for example? I could transfer them into uh, free experience. Free experience you can use in every tank. So you can, I can click here and use gold. For ex I forgot about that. If you need it, well, I don't know, but I personally don't need it. So, then there is gold, which we've talked about. Gold is the purchasable thing in this game. So you can buy, like, a certain amount of gold for a certain amount of euros, pounds, dollars, whatever you use. Credits. You earn credits in random battles and co-op battles. In random battles you will earn much more credits and you will earn much more experience. You can click here and you can change between co-op battles and random battles. So. Modules. Modules, you can research new models. Uh, well, this is a bad example. You can research new modules and upgrades. This is the more interesting thing. Upgrades, you can click here, for example. Oh, this thing. You buy it for 150,000, which is pretty much. But you get less chance to flood and less chance to burn. Great things. I think you don't need them uh, on tier 3, 2 and 1, but if you like your ship very much and you want to buy these, go ahead and do it. If you click on this big battle thing, you will go right into your next battle or in the queue and then in the battle. You can see how many players are online. This is the server you're on. Close beta test U. Here you can do all of the settings, like graphic settings, stuff like that. And, which is also important, create a division. It's like a platoon in World of Tanks, so you can play with up to three friends of you. Here you can enlist yourself, so the other people will see your name here and can just right click you and get in the division. Then here, like contacts, are, uh, they, are, they are wiped every few days, so you can add a player as a contact, a friend of you maybe, like somebody I know maybe. Enter. Yeah, well, I've just missed it. Yeah, that was, was a great thing. Now, I've got it. And there he is. Add him to friend list, and now I can just make... Oh, he's in battle, actually, now. So, and then I can do invite to division, add to blacklist, remove from contacts, and send a message. So the message will pop up with a little thing here where you can write with him. Invite to division is like a platoon, like I said already here. And, yeah. 
and you can just have fun. Um, exterior are just sort of specials like more experience or less repair costs. You could, you'll get them through leveling, because every level brings you a special thing. So, if you've reached a certain level, you will see that here, um, like this Akiba Powers, what well, well, step for a great name, but yeah, uh, he'll pop up. And there's a plus one on him, and you'll think, what the fuck can I do with that? <laughs> you can skill him. I, possibly skills like 15% less repair time. That's an idea, for example. But I just want to show you a bit of it, but because I'm going to show everything, it will take ages, like I've already said. So, here, like I said, you find your contacts. Then you've got missions, which you unlock, I think, level 3 or 4. Uh, it's like win 4 games, earn 50,000 credits. Destroy 15 ships by torpedoes, earn 50,000 credits. And the other one is on cooldown at the moment, so you get free on those. It's pretty, it's actually a great thing. So. Now, if you want to learn everything about uh, experience, using experience, researching stuff, buying stuff, just watch the next part. It's linked here again. It's already linked in the video description and another time in the video. A bit earlier. So, you can click on this and I'm going to show you exactly how you research things, how you buy things, how you use those things. So, have fun and see you in game.